Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to um, do the April 2016 Money and Luck reading for the Aquarius, okay? So this is a, a five card spread, I'll try to make it quick as possible. Um, it's going to go over your current financial situation and some other stuff, um, as well as an outcome for the month of April. If you want a more personalized reading, check out my website for a live reading. Um, and this reading may not resonate with all of you, which is why I recommend a personalized reading. Um, also, make sure that you subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel. So the link is in the video description box, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. And we're going to be looking at the Aquarius' um, current financial foundation for the month of April. Um, as okay, I'm sorry, give me a second. As well as, um, will money be coming into the um, Aquarius's life very soon? Um, which money opportunities should Aquarius consider more closely, and who or what projects will bring in more money? And you also have a <clears throat> fifth card which is an outcome and there's so many cards turned over and so I'm seeing already positive stuff for you Aquarius Alright, so that's enough shuffling, and I'm just going to give it one last shuffle. Oh, that is crazy the way that car came up, and I, <clears throat> and I just saw it, so... Um, let me get started. So Aquarius, your first card is the judgment card. Okay, so current financial situation. Um, you have got some anxiety from either the past or a past life. So money is an anxiety for you. I can see with this judgment card. Okay, you're, uh, you're kind of worrying about money right now. Um, you're worrying about probably, um, you know, the decisions that you made, okay? Um, now, this is a positive card, okay? But it's still saying that there's some stuff coming up from the past. It can mean that some things that you started in the past are coming to fruition. Um, the present has arrived in the past is relinquishing its hold on your fate. So, there is some things that are coming up from the past. This is a major life event. Um, and it's, in, it's indicating that a change is needed. Okay, now in the, um, in the pagan book, Judgment is reviewing your past, uh, drawing a conclusion, you know, or maybe even past life. So, you're going to go back. You're, you're going to be making some decisions. And you're going to consider those decisions wisely by looking back at the past. So that's kind of what you're doing right now. You're reflecting on what your previous mistakes was, which is really a good thing. And some of you are even looking even further. Some of you are feeling as though there's something out there for you. You feel like there's something more out there for you. So this is a really beautiful card to get. Now your next card turned over. It wanted to be solved. This is really crazy. Um, it, will money be coming into your life very soon? The answer is absolutely yes. You got the sun card. Um, it, this is another major arcana, another major event. Um, I can see some of you, um, you know, getting some sort of bonus and taking and using it to take a vacation. 
Um, I can sense that some of you are really wanting to take a vacation. You really want to get away. Um, you know, this is about having an abundance and achievement and joy. So um, definitely some good positive energies for you. Um, and it just, it, it, you, it means you are approaching a moment that has the potential to change your life. So this is a major, the opportunity for a major life change. Take full advantage of this time and you will achieve a future of endless possibility. Uh, the sun being the opposition to the moon is a card full of life, joy, and energy. It reveals positive achievements, successful endeavors, and overall manifestations of good fortune in your life. So the answer is yes. Card number three, Aquarius, is <clears throat> um, what should you consider more closely? Like, which money opportunities may you wish to consider more closely? Or this is something you may, oh, okay. Well, this is something that you might look at, okay? You got the Elder of Pentacles. So I get the sense that a lot of you Aquariuses are continuing your education with this card um, or you're finishing school, okay, um, as indicated in the judgment card. You've made some big decision um, and so you may have looked back and said, hey, I need to finish my career, I need to finish my degree, I need to finish school. So the Elder of Pentacles is the wisdom of mm, possessing things. So this is a very this is someone that's very wise with money. Um, she is equivalent to the king, so this is the highest, okay, in the court. Um, this could also stand for a literal person. So there may have been, um, you know, a woman or a man that's really good money that has offered you some sort of financial, um, you know, agreement. And you should definitely take it because this person knows what they're talking about. And they'll make a very good mentor. Okay, um, so your next card, number four, um, is who or what project will bring in more money? And you did get the lover's card, okay? Now, it could mean for some of you that you're going to be going into business with, you know, your significant other. But this also indicates a crossroad. So you um, have to make some sort of choice. And um, I think the choice is obvious judging by the illustration of this card because um, it, what the lover's card means in the pagan tarot deck is um, a, ch a choice between two directions is what it means alternatives that repeat <clears throat> that repeat or return so, it, I mean, in the illustration, the people on this side are walking away from her. They're going into some sort of dark cave, into the wilderness. You know, obviously, it doesn't seem very welcoming. Um, but on the other side, you've got a, a child and another woman walking towards her. And there's um, sunshine in the back. So, you want to make sure that you take the obvious obviously do what's best for you okay is what this is, this card is basically saying to you um you know you already know what the right decision is you just have to do it your last card is the magician which is another major arcana you got a total of four major arcanas Aquarius so you got a lot going on and the magician card is the outcome um, it's showing that you are connecting with um, 
a higher power um, in terms of your financial situation. So the magician is generating your destiny um, in balance with your surroundings. Um, this is going to be a positive outcome for you, Aquarius, um, with this card showing up. Okay, um, it indicates your confidence, your creativeness, being able to communicate with people. Okay, so this means as an outcome, the future before you is uncertain, presenting both risk and opportunity. The possibilities will be influenced by the friendships you have nurtured and the support you have chosen from those who are close. A triumph or creative success may bring about a new beginning for you. So the energy is definitely there. Just make sure that you don't choose that these people that are, you know, turning their back on you anyway. You know that they're unhealthy for you. So just let them go, even if it's family. I just recently had to do that myself, you know. So, I mean, sometimes family will do you dirty, dirtier than anyone. But the magician is an amazing card because he has, you know, um, or she, he or she has everything that they need to manifest their destiny and it's right there um you just have to um you know meditate and connect with that higher energy so um i hope that you enjoyed this reading um i'd love to hear from you guys to do some personalized reading um thank you so much for watching make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye